Oh, that was good. Yeah. This truck just passed two cars to get in front of everybody. Now it's going to have to wait. Class actor, buddy. Hello everybody, good morning, Smyrna Cowboy here. Today is October 26th, 2013. As you see, my backyard's got frost on it. It's colder than well digger's butt, but it's gonna get colder. Polar Bear Challenge is just right around the corner there. So I think this brisk morn, I'm gonna go get some breakfast at the Cracker Barrel. And uh, I've got to fix that uh, floodlight. I'm just going to get a floodlight down there at Lowe's and some shop towels and such as that. So uh, I'm getting ready to go get me a bite of breakfast. See, my rose bushes are about done for the, for the year. So I'm going to get on my trusted steed and head on up to Cracker Barrel. Get me a little bit of breakfast. All right, get ready to go. Look at the frost on the on the yard there. Better put down my put down my visor. You can hear me a little bit better when I start to roll it. Uh, looks like somebody's getting some stuff from Lowe's or got some stuff or something. Uh, yeah, it's a brisk morning this morning. Oh, a flat football. Brisk morning this morning. Uh, 36 degrees. I think fall has fell and winter is giving us a sneak peek here with the colder temperatures and all. And of course, the way the forecasters talk, it's going to be a mild winter. Of course, we usually always have mild winters here in Middle Tennessee, not near as bad as the people in the north, and uh, it's going be, to be pretty mild for us. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. So it's not going to be too bad. Well, I hope you. Uh, Turn this off. Hope you guys and girls are ready for the little trick-or-treaters come Wednesday. They're calling for rain. I mean, I'm sorry, Thursday. It's Thursday. Uh, they're calling for rain in the extended forecast. And uh, so I don't know if we'll have that many trick-or-treaters or not. We'll just see what the what the weather brings. I always flick my lights at people behind me. I hate the hate the thought of getting a 2,000 pound enema this early in the morning, or any time for that matter. That would just ruin your year. I doing that but it is brisk up here beautiful though beautiful. Uh, a couple of things to talk about today I just want to uh, remind the good folks that watch my channel out there that whatever part of the country you're from fall is falling and you need to take action for uh, winterizing your home a little bit take the hose pipes off the hydrant and drain those out and you can go to Home Depot or Lowe's or any other hardware store in your area and get those styrofoam uh, things that uh, keep the faucet on the outside from freezing and if you have a crawl space underneath your home you need to go ahead and close those vents so the cold 
little there to go underneath there and freeze up your pipes. You get that get that squared away before the weather gets too I've bad. I've been thinking about getting another modular helmet. This helmet's about six years old and it's not latching properly. So I remembered an old video that uh, BC69525 posted a while back. I'll put the I'll put the link in the description. It has a uh, brake light in the helmet. You can order an optional transmitter. So when you turn your uh, brakes on, it transmits a signal to the light in the back of your helmet to illuminate it. <laughs> to illuminate it. And uh, so I went online and uh, I contacted uh, uh, BC69525 on a PM and he's, he really likes it a lot and uh, he's had no problem with it at all. So I ordered one. So hopefully that'll be coming in in the next couple of weeks. He didn't give me a tracking number where I bought it at, but I'll give you a, a helmet review on that once I get it in and everything and uh, get it uh, get it working and all. So that'll be a upcoming video. And I'm going to try to shoot another video today or tomorrow about uh, the, the uh, decal swapping thing that's going on now with us motor vloggers. And uh, I've got uh, quite a few of them. So my original thinking was to put it on my travel luggage. And uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll put a link to that one right here too. And uh, I'm going to uh, put those, uh, the stickers that I already have, I'm going to put them on those uh, that travel luggage and go over those. Like I say, I'll try to shoot that video either uh later today or tomorrow and uh, to show all show off all my stickers and everything and if you have a sticker or if you would like one one of my Smyrna Cowboy stickers you may need a magnifying glass to see it but uh, if you want one wherever you're from all you have to do is either PM me or shoot me an email at my gmail address that's the smart cowboy at gmail.com and I'll be more than happy to put one in the mail for you and send it out to you I had a couple of subscribe I have a couple of subscribers that are overseas and uh, I really didn't I've never seen anything overseas before in a long time so I went to the post office and I thought you had to uh, Way each piece being it's international, but under one ounce, the United States Post Office has a global postage stamp. And I thought that was really cool because it's wherever in the world that you want to send anything under one ounce, it's a uh, dollar ten US dollars. And that's just nothing, you know. To, uh, to send out a sticker to anyone that wants one so you know a buck ten to go from here to England or Australia or China or Egypt or you know wherever I mean I thought that was oh that was good yeah this truck just passed two cars to get in front of everybody now it's not the wait. Class act, there, buddy. But whatever. I thought that was that was pretty cool. So, like I say, if you would like to have one, I'd be more than or two, however many you want. I got 250 of them, and I've already sent out about 30. I guess it's been now. So, if you want one. Just shoot me a PM or shoot me an email and I'd be more than happy to get that out for you. Like I say, if you want one, don't know why you would, but anyway. <laughs>
put it on your lunch box or toilet seat or whatever <laughs> but uh, all you have to do is just uh, let me know give me your address and I'll be more than happy to send that out for you well as you can see I'm at the Cracker Barrel I'm gonna get me a bite of breakfast and do a few errands so I can do some work this afternoon so we'll cut this video off and we'll catch you next time morning this is a Smyrna Cowboy here in Smyrna, Tennessee, wishing you and yours a good day. And until next time, adios.